The story for Symphony of the Night begins with the ending of Rondo of Blood. We see Richter Belmont and Maria Renard putting an end to Dracula's evil. Four years after Dracula's defeat, Richter mysteriously vanished, and Dracula's castle suddenly reappeared. From here, you take on the role of Alucard, the son of Dracula. Ah, Alucard. Alucard made his way to the castle to destroy it, and obviously his father and his minions didn't appreciate it, so they took his weapon and armor. While traveling through the castle, he bumped into Maria Renard, who was searching for Richter Belmont. After deciding to trust each other, they set off on their separate journeys through the castle. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is an action platformer RPG, so you'll be doing lots of leveling up. The style of gameplay is very similar to Super Metroid, as you'll need certain powers to get through certain different parts of the castle. This was the first game in the series to use the Metroid style of gameplay. The cool thing about this style was that you were able to travel around the castle and do a lot of exploring, but that also meant that there was a lot of backtracking. One of the very cool things about the game were the boss battles, and there were plenty of them, and all the bosses were very unique in their own way. They all had their own patterns and required you to change your tactics in each battle. There were a lot of familiar creatures like the succubus, but then there were a lot like this boss right here, Legion, which you've never heard of before. The game also had a shopkeeper where you could spend all your hard-earned money. Alucard being the son of Dracula had a decent set of spells. And he also had the ability to transform into a wolf, mist, into a vampire bat. The bat and mist form were needed much more than the wolf form. The game also has quite a few puzzles in it, some with some pretty cool payoffs. Symphony of the Night's soundtrack is one of the best of any game. Each part of the castle has music that suits it perfectly. The sound effects are also great. The swing of his sword, the sound of all the enemies, everything is just awesome. The voice acting, however, is terrible. Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you! <laughs> the thing is, as bad as the voice acting is, it doesn't hurt the experience at all. He disappeared about a year ago. And I'm sure he's here. Symphony of the Night, even today, is still an amazing looking game. All of the backgrounds, everything just looks great. The game is also filled with great animations. Everything like the save point, killing any enemy, and especially the bosses have some epic deaths. Even though you spend the entire game in one castle, they change things up so much you'll never get tired of it. And there's just so many cool little details it makes the game that much better. <laughs> and all the menus and everything in the game are a breeze to get through. Alright, I could go on all day about how awesome Symphony of the Night is. It's a great game that nobody should have missed. And even though it's kind of hard to get a copy of a PS1 version, they have it on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network for $10. Seriously, $10 for this game. So just do yourself a favor and pick it up. Anyway, I'm Steven with Game Power Masters, and thanks for watching. Seriously, buy it.